Greetings folks. If you're into RC as much as I am, then you are also into soldering. There's no way around it. If you want to be able to use flight control boards, wire up FPV rigs, repair servos, uh, and put the electronics for your plane together, you are going to have to come to grips with soldering. Now, most of us start off with terrible quality soldering irons like this, just a cheapie from a hardware shop. Uh, but what you really need for fine soldering is a temperature controlled uh, and intelligent soldering iron, such as the TS100. I've been using this little soldering iron for two years and it's just been absolutely fantastic. They're actually very hard to get now, they seem to be discontinued. So, so enter the Secure SQ001. It is almost identical to the TS100, and luckily this is readily available and a lot cheaper than the TS100 as well. Okay, let's have a look at it. Comes in a box like this, comes with a quick start guide and uh, an instruction manual there. Here's the little unit. Does look exactly like the TS100, I have to say. Different buttons, maybe different shapes slightly, but uh, exactly the same functionality. Barrel plug connector. Uh, it does come with a barrel plug that is uh, XT60 terminated on the other end. That plugs in there like that. Can run on batteries from 3S up to 6S. I use it on 4S and it works very nicely for me. You also get a little uh, Bakelite stand and a sort of a cleaning cloth in there. And we get uh, some spare screws and a hex wrench for uh, fitting and removing the tips there. You can get a variety of different tips. You can get uh, fine needle points like that. This is a sort of a, a rounded chisel, uh, good for transferring a lot of heat. When I initially got the TS100, I thought you could really only use them for fine soldering on tiny little pads like on flight control board. Um, pins but uh, everyone who had them told me that no they work perfectly well on hefty soldering for like you know 12 gauge 14 gauge uh, power cables and it's absolutely true too these things will just suck as much current as they need from the battery to keep the correct temperature on the tip great stuff for such a little portable soldering iron now I could end the review here and just say, buy one, they're brilliant, you need one. But we better show you a little bit more about it. So I'll plug in the 4S. And we get a bit of a splash screen on there and it says press. We press the A button and it starts heating up to the default temperature of 300, deg 300 degrees. Heating up nice and quickly. There we go, we're at 300 degrees. We can actually increase it up to 400 degrees by pushing and holding the B button. There we are, up to 400 degrees, and it will heat up to 400. There we go, we're ready to go at 400 degrees. And that's pretty much all you need to know about it. That's how it works. It will hold that temperature no matter what you put on the tip. Uh, it just works so well. You can flash it with different firmware uh, and I believe the firmware can allow you to go up to 450 degrees. I've never found the need for that. And it will allow you to flip the screen upside down to uh, be able to read it when you're working with your other hand. Uh, but seriously, this is just fine for me. Without burning my mat, we have a micro USB connection here for doing firmware updates. The power port is DC5525. Whole thing weighs about 30 grams by itself, 65 watts. Temperature stability plus or minus 2%. And if we go through the different powers, 12 volts will give 17 watts, 16 volts, 30 watts, 19 volts, 40 watts and 24 volts, 65 watts. And if we push 
two buttons at the same time it'll go into standby mode there we go so it'll cool down again press button B to go into thermometer mode and that will give us the current voltage and temperature and we also have a sleep mode if you don't touch the soldering iron for more than 180 seconds three minutes it will go into sleep mode and reduce down to 200 degrees we can also choose different soldering iron tips and we also get some tips for maintenance of the tip as well to keep it operating in tip-top condition firmware updates can be found on https double dot slash sequiremall.com and once you connect via usb to your computer if you push the push button a to go into dfu mode and then you can uh, update the firmware so there you go it's an awesome little piece of kit that you just absolutely need in your toolbox if you're into rc the wonderful little secure sq001 thanks for watching